As a Rangeview Raider, you're expected to be exposed to a diverse lifestyle, interesting classes, and normal things you'll see every day at a public school. But what is life like at a private school? I am Dorian Marshall, and this is the Battle of the Raiders. On a regular day at Rangeview High School, you might find me procrastinating in class, procrastinating in the library, or asking random kids in the hallways awkward questions for the weekly wrap. But a couple of weeks ago, I was given a task. Go to Regis Jesuit for a day and make a video about it. Knowing me, I was skeptical at first, but eventually I said, hey, YOLO, let's do it. So here it is, my day at Regis Jesuit High School, in detail. The night before the day I was supposed to go, I forgot I didn't have any dress code appropriate clothes. You see, at a private school, that's something most people expect, but it is something that I completely forgot about. Uh, well, I expect, well, I know that the schools are divided between genders, so I would expect that. Um, I have heard that there is a small amount of minorities that go to that school. I would expect that as well. and. Uh, uniforms. See, right there. How could I forget? Oh well, it wasn't anything a late night store run that Coles couldn't fix. Getting back on track, my first and only day at Regis was quite different, to say the least. I was greeted by friendly people and administrators who all seemed excited to meet a shadow. Regis is constantly adding new things and renovations to make the learning environment better. I was shadowing Connor Rosabal, who took me on a tour of the whole school. Classes only last from 8 a.m. to 2.45 p.m. On the tour, I was able to catch photos of some of the places on campus, including the football field, the incredible view of the lawn overlooking the mountains, the trophies, more trophies, and more trophies, along with the swimming pool, where you guessed it, Missy Franklin was all over the record board. After the day was over, I was not only enlightened, but I wondered about the way others perceived private versus public high school. This is Vanessa Guareca, who went on the trip with me, but stayed way over there in the girls division. Actually, yes I do, because I feel like I get to have more background on my classmates and get to learn a little bit more about my background as well. So yes, I would say that I prefer diversity at Rangeview. Looking back, I agree and can relate to what Vanessa was saying. Diversity was something that was very different at Regis compared to Rangeview. Rangeview is a minority white public school, which has hallways filled with a vibrancy of color. At Regis, there was only one class that I was in where I wasn't the only African American male. To proceed, I also observed out of my four classes, there were only two where I wasn't the only minority present. Uh, I think some big misconceptions is that uh, we're kind of very exclusive, uh, not like academically, but like with the people that we interact with. Uh, I think one of Regis's biggest qualities is that we're very open to like just welcoming all and such, and I think people get the wrong idea when they think of Regis about that stuff. So, yeah. From my perspective as a minority, I was accepted and treated equally as any other guy. My experience was very unique at Regis, but personally, I think I'll skip the transfer paperwork and stay at home at the colorful scene of Rangeview High School. But that doesn't mean if you go to a private school, you can't have a little fun. <laughs> 